Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Um, trademark, copyright. Do you have stories? Does this ever touch your life at all? Law? Does it ever? You, you, all day long, different things? No, right? You don't think about it. Well, okay. well mm-hmm. tell me stories if you have stories. Well, okay, so one of our cousins, who shall remain nameless, <laughs> is a single mom on a limited, limited salary. And she sews mostly on fabric that she gets at a very low cost or from her mother or whatever. And so she wanted to organize a pattern exchange at our retreat. Mm -hmm. And so she wanted everybody to copy off their favorite pattern and bring it. And so she keeps them all very neatly organized in a book. Well, I always felt kind of bad about it because, you know, you're not supposed to copy pattern. Right. Right. But I did. So I've never actually used any of them, but I just do it. Because she wants us to. Because she wants us to. Well, yeah. I've yeah. used I've used a couple of them, uh-huh. you know, and I also look at it like this because a lot of patterns will say uh, you can't maybe not these patterns, but you can't use it for profit. Like, don't use yeah. it for resale or like if you make something. Does that make sense you know, to you? To have yeah. That yes. On it? Yeah. And none of us sell things. our our projects. You know, we don't mm-hmm. we don't sell our quilts. You don't mm-hmm. put them on Etsy. Or no, 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 yeah. nobody, nobody. And so, you know, I don't feel real bad about it because, I'm, I, although I know we're not supposed to, I know that it's all for just our own personal use, and we all buy patterns. Right. And yes, and even this person who organized this, she does buy patterns. Yeah, but you also we get a lot of them off the internet. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, and so many patterns are. I mean. Yesterday we looked up an old quilt, to right? See, and so right. There, yeah. there are these public domain blocks put mm-hmm. together in certain yes. ways. Yes, and even the way they're put together is like in the public domain. Right. So, yes. Uh, right. So yeah, and the more you get to know quilting, the more you can sort of see the construction. Right. So the right. pattern isn't even where things come from. Yeah. And yeah. so a lot of the ones that we bring now, more so now I think than earlier on, mm-hmm. is is somebody has taken something off of. Uh, like a free pattern off of the Moda site yeah. or right. something or like that. Or a free that. Bonnie yeah. Hunter pattern. Or was the it'll last be an infinity yeah. scarf or mm-hmm. something a little different yeah. than a quilt pattern. And the Bonnie Hunter pattern that I brought, she has given it one name. Now, this is, what, this is why I think it's so interesting that you're doing copyright. The Bonnie Hunter pattern that she got, she gave it the name Garlic Knots. Well, mm-hmm. it has another whole name and was an old pattern. You know? Yeah. She didn't originate garlic knots. She just named it that and put it on her site. But it's an old vintage pattern. Right. So it's not protected in any way. So it's not protected in any way. Yeah. Now, her quilts that she develops and does as her mystery quilts, that's another whole thing. It's not just a block. Tell me about the book we looked we used yesterday. Oh, the Barbara, uh, the yeah. Barbara Brockman. Yeah, that's yeah. to me. That's really interesting. And one of the things, uh, history things, I love is uh, the people who sort of early on in the quilt revival went through and categorized all these names. So the Barbara Barbara Brockman has several publications that show names of pieced quilts and applique quilts. So you can look up right. vintage old patterns. And that's what we yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so I, I, that's fun to me to look up those. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, all right. So we've been chatting. Um, other thoughts before we sort of think of, like, anything else that you want to sort of record or think about, about quilting, about meaningful things or silly things or any other thoughts about quilting? Uh, I have, you know, I keep remembering things that we yeah. should have mentioned earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Um, our Family Quilt Guild for the first time will be going to a retreat together yes. next year oh, wow. yes. at Missouri Star. Oh really? In so Missouri there's going to be right. it's going to be yeah. actually. Oh wow, that's a big deal. We had right? two year we had to yeah. plan it two years in advance. Yeah. We had to put our deposit you, like, in last they year. They have like dorms there, right? Yeah, um, yeah? yeah, big in the retreat dorms, center. Right? And so yeah, I think it's going to be actually friends and family because okay, cool. we wanted to fill up the whole thing mm-hmm. and we didn't have enough family members yeah. to that could go. Right. Um, so we've invited some friends. Judy's got several friends. Yeah, going. my little group from here is going. Okay. So that's next June. Yeah. That's next June, mm-hmm. 2018. 
Mm -hmm. And um, then I also go with another group at to Missouri Star in October. I went last year for the first time, stepped yeah. out of my comfort zone and went yeah. with a group of people. And what did you think of Missouri Star? Obviously you oh, liked it's it because you awesome. Came. Yes, we had been that summer. We went shop on Shop Hop for, yeah. for Ruby's Remnants. Well, yeah. What, two yeah. years oh, ago? Yeah, I love it. And why do you love it? It's amazing. I love it because it's every. It's just amazing. All it the really things is that you Quilt would want to USA. see and not crammed into one building. Mm -hmm. It's a little overwhelming. It's so you know. organized and so beautifully done. Yeah. And everybody there is super friendly. They don't get um, anybody, I'm going to say even the customers, don't get um, impatient, mm -hmm. you know, because there's so many people helping and yeah. you're all the same type of people, yeah. you know. And uh, anyway, it was just great. And I like Jenny Doan. I think that her techniques now there's people who are anti Jenny Doan because she doesn't do things you know right. exactly by all the rules uh, but I totally see yeah. why she's so popular yeah, yeah. because she's so accessible mm -hmm. and such a friendly persona and mm -hmm. uh, she really has brought a ton of people into quilting we met her on the street she's yeah the street. we all have pictures with her cool. <laughs> I have a picture of me and her and Aunt Billy on Aunt Billy's 80th birthday. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. That's great. It is great. Mm -hmm. um, the cost. How much is it going to cost per person then to do, do this? To do that. Yeah. You mean just to go stay there? You're well, not talking the about any shopping? Right? Well, not the shopping, but just okay. like the experience. Like how what was it, Joe? 175 I think we was, how much was our deposit? 110 I can't remember. I think our, I think it's, I'm going to say, depending on what size of bed you get, whether it's a twin or queen. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I paid $110, and I think that was half of my cost. So For how many days? Three. That's not terrible. Three? Mm -hmm. That's not terrible. Is it three nights? I think it's three nights yeah. and four days. And we feed ourselves, you know. And yeah. That's not yeah. Bad but then we shop. I mean, you just need some. You just walk out the door. and. So yeah, and you have your choice of eight quilt shops. <laughs> or at least eight. I think at there's more now. Yeah. That's it's unbelievable. Good. Yeah. It's, it's an so amazing So we're really story. looking forward yeah. to that. And Julie has been working hard on that for two years. She's organizing the games. Yeah. The prizes. Very cool. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. If you want to go, I think we got an extra bed. Well, <laughs> you know, I have to research, so, you know. <laughs> there you I think it'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we went to one in yeah. Vermont. It was yeah. great. It was uh -huh. great. I just want to say, it was great. Um, but there wasn't a cross shop nearby. The oh, closest one yeah. was like 30, 40 minutes away. So like yeah. when people went to go get something, yeah. they'd ask everybody, like, what else does anybody else need? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Which is very nice. Yes. Yeah. But that was a bit of a problem, you know. I yeah. was surprised they didn't have a little shop yeah. in the, at the, it was a quilting retreat place. So, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a great place, but I was surprised at that. Yeah. See, we like to shop hot before. So we, our first time, that, the first retreats that we went to was smack inside of a quilt shop. So it's yeah. dangerous That's because cool. any time like, oh, she just had it. you keep a running total. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But now, um, if you want something, we, we do have to go about thirty minutes if you need something. If mm -hmm. Donnie, the, the Same owner, thing, right? she yeah. usually has it. If, Got it. You know. Yeah. I so mean, maybe she's that's likely to. Typical, too. but I thought it was yeah. surprising. Yeah. That. And is a quilt retreat here in New Orleans now? Is that? Did you say yeah. There's tangy. a one in Tangipahoa Parish, just north of the lake. It's exactly an hour from here. It's called Tangy Retreat House, and it opened a year ago. And a woman who's a quilter and her husband who is like a builder bought this seven-bedroom house and made it into a retreat house. And that's cool. Mm -hmm. And, you, and mm -hmm. you've been? You like I've you been now it? twice. Our little group here, Jill came and went, and we went in, what was it, Jill? June? May. In May. And then cotton picking went for the first time ever on a retreat. And we went in July, early July. Nice. So I've been twice now. Very cool. It was, okay. So I was wrong. It wasn't May probably. But and what is it about retreats that you like? Oh. You get so much done. You do, because you're just there for one thing. Mm -hmm. you know. I am. No other distractions. My husband called it a posh sweatshop. Exactly. <laughs> exactly That's what it is. That's probably a pretty good uh, uh, description of it. Because we were so tired and we were working so hard and the mm -hmm. hours were really long. Mm -hmm. and it was ridiculously self-imposed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought it was fun. 
Yeah, and, and you, you know, you can just relax and do whatever <laughs> you want at your own pace, and yeah. and you, it's just fun being with other people. Mm -hmm. You learn from them, you know. And in our case, with the family members, we hear all kinds of stories. Oh yeah! Oh know? God, yes. It's we great. hear all kinds of stories. Mm -hmm. um, I, our younger girls, sometimes that's the only time they get to sew all year. Mm -hmm. They keep having babies. They've never all been there at the same time mm -hmm. because yeah. mm -hmm. they're having babies. But um, hopefully, more of them will mm -hmm. be there. But. Mm -hmm. So that's really a good thing for them is mm -hmm. time away from their little ones so that they can sew. And mm -hmm. we don't allow little ones. Yeah, yeah, we've had big discussions. Can I bring the nursing baby? No. You know, no. <laughs> See you next year. Because <laughs> we would all want to hold the nursing baby and not sew. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So how old do you have to be to be able to go to the family retreat? Well, we haven't. You haven't had issues with mm -hmm. That really no. hasn't come hasn't up. Happened. I would say, you know, if, if one of the teenagers want to come. Yeah. You know. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Now, on the other side, uh, Holly took her little one. Yeah. With her. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, and they go to the same place we go to to retreat. Really? Yeah. We all love it. We That's really it. great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. All right. Well, this is so fabulous. I really appreciate all the stories and sharing. And you're amazing. It's so great. It's so fabulous. Thanks. You're so welcome. This was so fun to talk about, Elizabeth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really amazing, right? You're all about, I mean, you're all about community. You're all about sort of learning and, and building, but it's all community-based. It's like, it's incredible. Like, the essence of what quilting is supposed to be about, which is family and love and making things mm -hmm. and connecting. And I agree. Yeah. I just feel yeah. incredibly yeah. fortunate that we have this family thing. It's really incredibly cool. Incredibly yeah. fortunate. Yeah, and some of the people in my New Orleans guild, when they hear about it, they just, like, they're so jealous. Yeah. Because they just have oh. took it up themselves, you know. Yeah, and nobody in their family. Nobody in their family sews or quilts. And yeah. yeah. So their whole community is just the guild. Yeah. It becomes your other family, right? Mm -hmm. Your mm -hmm. quilting family. But you've got actually a quilting mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which is pretty mm -hmm. nice. Do you know of any others? Have you heard of other family quilting family guilds? Or are you guys... No. And we're yeah. not technically a... Well, I, I don't know. know if you really we have to do know. anything to right. make it a, a guild. What is you a guild, don't. Right? You don't. You know. We're not registered with right. any of the groups, like the state guilds or yeah. anything. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, but as a group. Like, but we are. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think we could get the discount, the guild discount, if we went shopping somewhere. We sure could. <laughs> we sure could. We don't have cards that say it, you know, or anything. Yeah. But, <laughs> you uh, got to get the cards. Yeah. <laughs> or, or name tags, you know. Right. Yeah. You know what? We need name tags next year. We gotta tell Julie that. Oh, she already knows. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. She was at. She's planning it. Good. Yeah. Well, anything else before I we end? Um, no. We didn't talk, uh, and this is okay that we yeah, don't talk because I don't necessarily yeah. need to talk about it. But we didn't talk about really our the quilts we have on hand. Oh my God. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit about them. Yeah. Well, when our mother passed away, she had. Probably ninety quilts. Wow. She had a huge number of quilts. Yeah, a huge number. She liked to just collect quilts. Yeah. And how did she collect them? She just like went to different states, like when, wherever she was. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yard sales, Yard antique sales, stores. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. resale shops, eBay. And did she have a friends. price? Like, how far would she go? In oh, the cheaper the better. The cheaper the better. But yeah, she would spend. Yeah, you know, she would. She would. Ever, because there was a lady out in uh, Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Near where my Aunt Billy was. That uh, She was like, was she in her 90s, I think? I never met her. She was in her 90s, and she still did hand quilting. She pieced and did hand quilting. And so these three sisters got to know her, and then that became like a destination. Every time anybody went to see Aunt Billy, they had to go see, I don't remember if her name was Louise, but they had to go see this lady and mom spent a pretty penny on a beautiful applique quilt that she made Interesting. which I now have yeah you <laughs> have a, I have a couple of quilts from that lady don't I that are peace quilts I don't know maybe maybe uh oh but we uh because my sister-in-law who's not in our guild mm -hmm. but loves quilts my brother our brother's wife uh we just divided up mom's quilts between the three of us mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we had an estate sale and what there were maybe 
three or four quilts that made it to the estate sale. There were really more than that. Well, a couple of them.